Okay, so we have the weapon that comes after Jitter. Now, this is kind of an actual weapon that we're looking at here. So, straight off the bat, it deals way more damage. Like, a lot more damage than Katana and Jitter. And this is a, a, on the very first island of the game. Way better weapon than Jitter. I wouldn't say it's uh, really good for grinding, per se. It doesn't really have a good AOE. I don't know about that, but it's a lot better of a sword. It deals way more damage to Katana and Jitter. And it's the third weapon you can get in the game if we're going by, you know, starting at Katana, then Jitter, then this one. Decent sword, and it deals pretty decent damage. It deals way more damage than the two swords previous to it. And unlike the other weapons, if you try it hard enough, you could actually use this for PvP. Spinner carries them with you, so it has some potential. And Slash, these moves can definitely drain your opponent's dodges really fast. It can drain all of them with no issue. So uh, Tashi Blade for PvP, I mean, it's still, it's still probably bad for PvP, but at the very least, it can get past the enemy's dodge. That's a big factor. And if I'm not correct, this, I believe Slash... Uh, very creative name. I believe Slash stops them in their tracks. And it's an uncommon sword, too. Like, for being in just a simple uncommon drop in the first island, honestly, it, it does pretty good. I I'm pretty sure you can set up a proper build where this actually works as a PvP weapon. Like, Slash is literally a better version of, uh, of Kikoku. I think that's the name of it. Which, by the way, I don't know what they did to Kikoku. I'll, rev I'll review Kikoku in another one, but... I don't know what they did to this sword. So check this out. So you have this one, right? So radio slash, right? Let's say I hit this guy. I can hit him with this, but he can just walk through the radio slash. It doesn't even stop him, right? And it's a rare sword that costs like 25 million. But if we go to a common sword, like Tashi, an uncommon sword like Tashi Blade, for being an uncommon sword, it stops them in their tracks and stops them from moving, which is like, what were the King Legacy devs thinking when they were making, when they were reworking these swords? Like, they didn't think about making Kikoku, like, stop the enemies from, like, moving around? Like, why does it work like that? I don't know why, but it's like, Tashi Blade's actually really decent. I think, I think if I were to give this sword a score, it's higher than a D tier. I think I'm going to put it at a C tier. This is a sword that actually really impresses me. It drains dodges really good. It deals decent damage. It's not really great for grinding per se, but it's better than the two previous swords. And for how early you get it, I mean, I got to give the sword some credit. It's on the first island of the game and it's, and it's really decent. That definitely warrants at least a C tier. So I'm going to put out a C tier. This is definitely a pretty decent weapon. I would definitely recommend it.